In 2003, nearly 30 years after the release of the original film, it was time for Leatherface to get a fresh start in a remake. You're so dead you don't even know it. That being said, let's take a look back at the remake and go over 10 things you might have not known about the movie. Number 1. Leatherface was originally going to kill Jedediah by impelling him with his chainsaw as punishment for helping Eren escape. This scene was cut out because it was considered to be too brutal. Number 2. After filming for his character Wrapped, Eric Balfour stripped off all of his clothes, tossed them to the crew, and walked off the set while only wearing a baseball cap. Number 3. During her audition, Erica Learson screamed so loud that people in other parts of the building thought that someone was being attacked, so they called the police. Number 4. It was announced that Marilyn Manson was going to be the composer for the movie, but he had to back out due to scheduling conflicts. Number 5. Originally, Jessica Biel's character, Aaron, was going to be pregnant, which is why she didn't smoke any weed or drink the water in Mexico. Why do you think I haven't been drinking or smoking or, or doing anything this entire trip? Did, did you think about that? Aaron, I, I don't know, okay? I mean, I can't read your mind. I'm trying, but... I'm pregnant. You're gonna be a dad, Kemper. Number six. Speaking of Jessica Biel, she wasn't the only actress considered for the role of Aaron. Hell, she wasn't even the only Jessica considered for the role. Jessica Alba was considered, as was Katie Holmes and Kirsten Dunst. As a matter of fact, Lauren German, the actress who plays the hitchhiker in the beginning of the movie, originally tried out for the role of Aaron. Number seven, Gunnar Hansen, the actor who played Leatherface in the original movie, was asked if he'd like to appear in this film as the truck driver near the end of the movie. However, like many times before, Hansen wanted more money than what the studio was willing to pay him. Number eight, the scene in the van with R. Lee Ermey and Jonathan Tucker is particularly intense. One thing that lended to the intensity of the scene is that Jonathan Tucker would force the barrel of the pistol down his throat to intentionally make himself puke. If you look, you can actually see vomit coming out of his mouth in the scene. Number 9. This remake does pay homage to the original. When Aaron pulls out a knife, she says that she got it from her brother. Big Brothers. In the original, Franklin is particularly fond of his knife and lets his sister, Sally, borrow it. Let me see your knife. Thanks. Which she never returns. What are you doing? I can't find my knife. That knife will do you any good. He likes that knife, remember? When did you have it last? Well, I didn't have it last. You had it last. I gave it to you, remember? What'd you do with it? Well, I don't know. Didn't I give it back to you? No, I didn't have it when I got out of the van. You just never gave it back to me. All right, I'll look for it. Number 10. Dolph Lundgren was approached for the role of Leatherface, but declined, saying that he would like to spend more time with his family and couldn't accept any roles at that time. And that's it for this video. So, did you learn anything you didn't know? Let us know by leaving a comment below. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Either way, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Don't give me any crap, young lady. God damn it, I got just as much respect for a dead body as anybody around here. Hey! Get that nasty goddamn thing out of the back seat of my goddamn car. Put it in the trunk. What the hell's the matter with you?